everybody, and welcome to the Glue Bomb Show. Do you remember when you were a kid? Maybe back in like middle school. When I was in middle school, there was one magazine I had to see as often as possible. It was called Hot Rod Magazine. Now, I knew nothing about mechanics or building hot rods. What I loved was building models. And it was in that time where you're still fantasizing about your, what your first car will be and you're thinking Trans Am or Corvette or any kind of other muscle car. At least that's what the people did out of my era. But there was one thing I just loved and that was funny cars. Oh, I loved funny cars. And some of the coolest funny cars were Beetle and Schmidt's Blue Max, right? Well... I think this is from the folks at uh, round two. It's from MPC. This is the Blue Max long nose Mustang funny car. I have wanted one of these for a very long time, and I finally picked one up. So let's have a look inside, shall we? <laughs> I love these MPC kits. They always have such nice uh, illustrations on the sides where you can really see... Uh, well, on this side, of course, they're trying to sell me more kits, but they show you some of the things about what's inside and how it looks and everything. Just great stuff. So, inside here, we have... Okay, don't tell my wife I did this. Oh, my word. I'm telling you, I don't know what they make these bags out of, but I wish they'd make like more things out of it because they're so strong. Okay, so in here you've got your chrome sprue. Uh, it looks like we're pretty sparing on the chrome parts, and I'm good with that. Uh, I like as few chrome parts as possible, mainly because most of this would probably have been aluminum and not chrome, and chrome parts don't stick very well. You have to scrape chrome. So I, I, the chrome parts look nice, but they're a pain. So basically you've got your front and back wheels, your blower, your valve covers. Um, I don't know, is that two different kinds of valve covers? I'm not sure. Uh, no, that's that's your valves and your valve, your uh, heads and your valve covers. Anyway, I'm not sure. And then we also have a second set of front wheels. I'm guessing this is just a slightly different style front wheel. And then we have our slicks. Had printed slicks, which is nice. I'm not even going to pull them out of the bag, but there you see it printed with Goodyear on them, like most of your racing tires. Uh, here's our windshield. All we have is the windshield on this. Looks very nice. And then here is our here is our body. And you got to get the body out and have a look, right? Long nose Mustang body. Looks pretty straight and clean to me. Not any any flash that I can see. I'm not really seeing mold marks or any of that. Maybe just a hair here on the corners, but not enough to speak of. And then, of course, this is that uh, interior pan that goes around sort of somewhat isolating the driver from the engine. So that's always good. Uh, not completely, mind you, but just sort of. And then in here, we've got more black parts. This is kind of neat. The, the body is molded in light blue, which is what the color of the car is. And then the frame parts are, uh, are in black. And not only do you get frame parts, but you get a blown out parachute. You could make this look like the uh, it's just been driven down the track. Actually, there's two parachutes there. They're stuck together. Um, I don't know if I'll put those on because I, they take up a lot of shelf space. And I don't have a lot of shelf left right now. I'm going to have to figure out something else, to so another way to configure our uh, my shelf stuff. But here is a driver, okay? That's good, right? Because if it gives you a blown out parachute, it should give you a driver to put behind the wheel. Otherwise, we've got a problem, right? Um, here's your frame. A one-piece frame. I love one-piece frames. One-piece frames don't break apart when you're trying to put the engine in. 
And then we have our uh, the ever important for a funny car body hinge. <laughs> and then we have this looks like some body parts and some uh, probably spoiler type things there. All right, so that's that part. And we have another sprue here. Actually, we have two sprues. Boy, this is... <laughs> these things are really tough. Oh, it also has a metal axle. You'll need that metal axle probably for the back axle. That's usually how it works. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I don't know what they're making this stuff out of, but it is strong. Mm. I know you're not supposed to use your teeth for this. Kids don't try this at home. Actually, it's three sprues. Okay, here we have some, uh, looks like the wheel backs. There's some interior pieces there, I believe. There's part of your roll cage, the uh, front part of the uh, frame, and uh, some other various parts in there. And then... There must be a few extraneous parts in here. There's your engine block and uh, parachutes if you don't want to build the blown out parachute. Um, and looks like there's a couple sets of heads there. And here's your seat, your wheelie bars, another set of headers. Leads me to believe they probably would make two different kits. So they're providing some similar inside parts for both. Um, that's pretty common. Um, okay, and then finally, we have the instructions and the decals. So, the instructions are, are pretty basic. Here you have your wheels and tires. And then uh, constructing your engine block, constructing your, the rest of the engine, constructing your driver and putting him in place in the seat and then assembling your frame and your drive train your uh, axles front and rear axles and then uh, putting the driver in the seat into the frame and then mounting your engine and assembling the body and putting the decals and things in and yeah, it shows you how to rig your parachute if you want to rig the parachute. Um, I, like I say, I'm probably not going to do that only because it really takes up a lot of display space. But I will hold on to those shoots in hopes that we can uh, use them maybe for another project or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them on because they are cool. Um, and then here we have the, the uh, decals. Uh, lots of stripes there. Not some nice decals to mount. Uh, hopefully they mount well and cooperate because decals can be fun. And then sometimes decals are fun. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's the kit. I'm looking forward to building this one as usual, right? I don't buy them if I'm not looking forward to building them. But uh, I've wanted one like this for a really long time since I was a little kid paging through the Hot Rod magazine, right? So now I have one. I'm going to put it together. That's what I have for you today. Remember, if you like these videos, please subscribe and please share them. Uh, I post them most every Monday, so you'll know when to look for them. But you can also hit the notification bell if you want. Take care, guys. Have a great day. And remember, model building is supposed to be fun. So have fun. Take care.